after studying this module you shall be able to know the definition of forensic science learn about the function of forensic science evaluate the scope of forensic science and examine a future of a forensic scientist the word forensic owes its origin to latin word forensics which means of or before the forum signifies belonging to court of justice or is any aspect of science which relates to the law since the inception of romans if when a criminal charge meant the case was to be presented before a group of selected individuals from the public in the forum the public place or the market place of a city which provides an opportunity for conducting a debate to the sympathetic hearing of to anyone's case both persons accused of the crime and the victim were given a chance to speak to give speeches thereby placing on their sides of the story to the forum the individuals with the best argument and the delivery was used to a certain the outcome of the case the collection and the necessary scientific analysis of the evidences is the basics of the successful solving of modern crime popular fictional character sherlock holmes coined by sir arthur conan doyle was perhaps the first person who introduced scientific crime detection method to its uh, readers doyle described the method of detection much before they were discovered and implemented by the scientist in a real life he used the principle of serology fingerprinting firearm identification and question document examination in his fiction let us know historical background of forensic science the roots of forensic science can be traced back to ancient greek and roman civilizations which brought great advances in the field of various disciplines of science including the science associated with criminal investigation poisoning being one of the earliest methods of killing a human being widespread knowledge was gathered regarding its production and use symptoms caused by various poisons were identified making it possible to detect their use in previously undetected murders the very first postmortem was documented also conducted by a famous roman physician antistuis in 44 bc on the body of slain king julius caesar to reach the conclusion that though the king was stabbed 23 times only one wound through his chest caused his death in the beginning of 17th century also known as the age of enlightenment advancement in science and awakening of the social conscience resulted in revitalized interest in the field of forensic science the inquestiveness insisted new means to identify evidences for the purpose of solving crimes further in the 18th century and in the 19th century a large number of incidents of collection and scientific analysis of evidences in order to solve crimes and penalize the accused were noted now let us learn about the fingerprint fold the way there have been a number of important advances in the exclusion of forensic science as a discipline the most significant expansion however have been from the independent work 
of Englishmen Henry Falls and William Herschel and from an American scientist Thomas Taylor. These scientists work detail the uniqueness of human fingerprints and their potential use in the identification of people leading to the codification and standardization of accepted practices within forensic science. The history of forensic science would be incomplete without discussing the tremendous contribution made by Dr. Edmond Locard. He was a French scientist and criminologist who had studied law and medicine and made significant contributions in the field. Locard proposed that every contact leaves a trace, a principle that prevails in the crime scene investigation even today. The principle of mutual exchange proposed by Locard established the idea that everything and everyone that enters a crime scene leaves some piece of evidence behind. Likewise, everyone and everything takes some piece of the crime scene with them when they leave. Next is the first crime laboratory. Lucard's principle and the research in the field of forensic science convinced the police department in the city of Lyon, France to provide him with an equipped office and some staff to analyze the evidences obtained from the crime scene. The two attic room and his two assistants soon became the world's first crime laboratory. Specialities in forensic science. Today, research in the field of forensic science has come of ages. Advancement in technology have allowed better and analysis and understanding of scientific principles in all types of evidences. For example, crime scene investigators have branched out and gained expertise in areas such as blood stain pattern analysis and ballistic. Now let us learn about DNA analysis. The advancement during the 20th century were based largely upon the groundwork lit in the 19th century, perfecting the core techniques in both the analysis of the evidence and its preservation. In the late 90s, perhaps the largest breakthrough in crime scene investigation since fingerprinting became standard practice with the advent of DNA analysis and identification. Now, introduction to the term forensic. The word forensic owes its origin to Latin word forensic which means of or before the forum signifies belonging to the court of justice or in any aspect of science which relates it to the law. Typically, it is just about any area of science which could be called into question in the court of law. Forensic means forum that is the public place or marketplace of a city which provides an opportunity for conducting debate or to give sympathetic hearing to anyone's case. It originated since the inception of Romans when a criminal charge meant the case was to be presented before a group of selected individuals from the public in the forum. Both the person accused of the crime and the victim were given a chance to give speeches, thereby placing on their sides of the story to the forum. The individual with the best argument and the delivery was used to ascertain the outcome of the case. This origin is the source of two modern uses of the word forensic as a form of legal 
evidence and as a category of public presentation in modern times using the term forensic in the place of forensic science can be considered appropriate as the term forensic is effectively a synonym for legal or related to codes however this term is now being so closely associated with the other scientific fields that many dictionaries includes the meaning that generalizes the word forensics with forensic science now let us learn about the definition of forensic science considering in the broader aspect the field of forensic science is any science used for the purposes of the law and therefore provides an impartial scientific evidence that can be used in the courts of law that is the criminal investigations and trials or it may also be defined as it is the application of scientific knowledge to law or in other words it is the application of scientific principles and techniques for the purpose of justice forensic science has emerged as a significant constituent in an effort to control crime while maintaining a high quality of justice the law enforcement officials have started becoming dependent on the laboratory results next is nature and scope of forensic science forensic science draws upon the principle and methods of all the traditional sciences such as biology physics and chemistry but in the last few years it has developed its own branches like fingerprints anthropometry crime scene investigation track marks question document examination and forensic ballistics these are exclusively fields of forensic science recently significant advances have been made in the field of seriology voice analysis brain fingerprinting criminal profiling and narco analysis test etc the term forensic science may sometimes be used as a synonym for the term criminalistics both these terms cover a diverse range of activities forensic science in a broader sense includes forensic medicine odontology anthropology psychiatry toxicology question document examination firearm tool mark and fingerprint examinations as well as criminalistics the brief detail about the major speciality areas included in the wider definition of forensic science is discussed further first is criminalistics this branch of science is mainly concerned with the recognition identification individualization and evaluation of physical evidence using the methods and techniques of natural sciences in issues of legal significance it includes examination of trace evidences like glass soil hair fibers blood and physiological fluids like semen saliva urine etc and the reconstruction of event based on physical evidence analysis different forensic scientists define the scope of the field differently some include firearm and tool mark examination and question document as a part of criminalistics despite the amplification of name criminalistics activities are not limited to criminal matters they are used in civil laws cases and in regulatory matters also people who are engaged in criminalistics as a profession are called criminalistics next is forensic anthropology this branch of science is related with personal identification based on bodily remains and its practitioners are known as physical anthropologists 
who are interested in handling the forensic problems. A pointer in this field, Alphonse Bertillon was a French police officer who had put to use the anthropological techniques of anthropometry to law enforcement, creating an identification system based solely on the physical measurements. Other areas of forensic anthropology included establishing the databases on the relationship between bodily structures as functions of sex, age, race, stature, and alike parameters. The interpretation of footprint or shoe print evidence might also be included to find relationship with stature of the person. Next is forensic odontology, also known as forensic dentistry, is the application of dentistry to solve human identification problems from teeth. Forensic odontologists are dentists who specialize in the forensic aspects of their field. They are concerned with the identification of persons based upon their dentition, usually in cases of otherwise unrecognizable bodies or in mass disasters or explosion cases. They also analyze and compare bite mark evidence in several types of cases. Next is forensic medicine, also known to be legal medicine or medical jurisprudence. It is the application of medicine and medical science to solve the legal problems. Practitioners forensic medicines are doctors of medicine with specialty certification in pathology and forensic pathology. Most of them are medical ex examiner. They are concerned with determining the cause and circumstances in cases of question death. They have to deal with matters relating to insurance claims and sometimes in cases of medical malpractice also. Next is forensic toxicology. This branch of science deals with the determination of toxic substances present in human tissues and organs. Most of the work concerns with the role of toxic agents that is chemicals or plant or others that might have played a role in causing or contributing to the death of a person. It also includes qualitative and quantitative analysis of the poison's product present in the viscera. Next is firearm and tool mark examination. In most of laboratories in India, the firearm and tool mark division is a part of physical section but is some other it varies according to convenience and number of cases referred to the laboratory. Comparison microscope is required for tool mark examination, firearm identification, comparison of markings on bullets and other projectiles, cartridge cases and shell cases, especially for the purpose of determining if a bullet has been fired from a particular weapon. Tool mark examination are concerned with the association of particular impressions with particular tools. Next is fingerprint examination. It is mostly performed at fingerprint bureau which is mostly concerned with the classification of fingerprints and organization of sets of print into usable files. The development of latent prints at crime scene and comparison of known with unknown. Fingerprints are the major part of the work besides stronging and building database of criminal fingerprints. Next is question document examination. This branch of forensic science deals with the comparison and interpretation of handwriting, signatures, mechanically produced material that is typed or printed, and photocopied material. 
analysis of papers, inks and other materials used to produce documents may also be analyzed. Some of the forensic science activities can be classified under more than one of the major subdivision as said. Tool mark comparison, for example, are sometimes considered as part of criminalistics or physical section and sometimes as part of separate firearms and tool mark speciality. Similarly, hair comparison is usually considered a part of criminalistic, but it would just as well as be considered as a part of forensic biology. Now, let us learn about its functions. The forensic expert has to perform dual important functions. First is scientific. The forensic scientist has to play a scientific function that is to recognize the physical evidences, document the crime scene and evidences, to collect, preserve and prepare inventory of evidences, packaging of evidences properly depending upon the type of evidence along with the least of queries, transport evidences to the laboratory to analyze and to evaluate the physical evidences. Next is forensic. The forensic scientist has to perform forensic functions that is to interpret the results of scientific investigation to form an expert opinion and communicating that opinion in layman's terms that is the simplest possible language without using many technical terms both in the form of written statement and oral presentation to the court of law a strong relationship exists between the crime scene investigators and laboratory examiners for collection preservation packaging and analysis of evidences the expert's role is essentially one of the impartially and the main directive is to assist the court in arriving at the truth. First is information on the corpus dialecti. The corpus dialecti, literally the body of the crime, refers to those essential facts that reveal that a crime has taken place, ransacked furniture in the rooms, various tool marks, broken doors or windows, and missing valuables, if any are the example of physical evidences that would be important in establishing the crime of Bulgari. Similarly, in other case of assault, a weapon, a torn clothing and the victim's blood will be important pieces of physical evidence helping in framing a decisive investigative lead of crimes. Next is information on the modus operandi. Many criminals or gangs have a particular modus operandi or method of operation which consists of their characteristic way of committing a crime. Physical evidences can help in the establishment of an modus operandi. For example, in case of Bulgari, the means used to gain entry, the tools used, types of items taken and other telltale signs such as urine or footwear left behind at the scene are all important. In cases of arson, the type of accelerant used and the way in which fires initiated constitute physical evidence that helps in establishing the patterns or signature of our noise. Cases that have been treated separately can sometimes be connected by useful documentation of similar MO. Next is linkage a person suspect to a crime scene. This is another very common and significant linkage provided by physical evidence analysis. Perpetrators as well as victims often leave finger and glove prints, blood semen, hairs, fibers, soil, bullets, cartridge cases, tool marks, footprints or shoe prints, tire tracks and objects at the crime scene, which are example of deposited evidences. Depending on the type of crime, various kinds of evidences from the scene may be carried away. Stolen property is the most obvious example, but 
two way transfers of trace evidence can be used to link a suspect, a victim, or even a witness to a crime scene. Next is linking suspect with the victim. The physical evidences can help to establish a decisive link between the suspect and the victim, particularly in the case of violent crime. Evidences such as blood, hair, cloth, fibers, and cosmetics can be transferred from a victim to a perpetrator or vice versa in the movement of a crime. A suspect can be found to be in possession of items which may be linked to the victim such as a comparison of bullets or an analysis of blood found on a knife. Trace evidence can also be transferred from a perpetrator to a victim or vice versa. Clothing and other belongings of a suspect and a victim should be thoroughly searched for trace evidences. Next is identification of a suspect. Two best evidences for identifying a suspect conclusively are fingerprint and DNA. A fingerprint found at scene and later identified as belonging to a particular person results in an unequivocal identification of that person. Similarly, any bodily material left at the crime scene can be used to extract and analyze DNA. Help in the identification of a person conclusive. The term identification as used here really means individualization. Although in common use, people often say identification of a suspect or identification of a fingerprint that is not strictly correct. Next is supporting or disproving a witness testimony. Physical evidence analysis can often indicate conclusively whether a person's version about a set of evidence is credible or not. Consider an example of a driver whose car matched the description of a desired hit and run vehicle. An examination of car might reveal the presence of blood on the underside of the bumper. The driver explains the findings by claiming to have hit a dog or any other animal. Testing species origin from blood can reveal whether the blood is from a dog or from a human. Next is providing investigative leads. Physical evidence analysis can play an important role in directing the investigation along a productive path. For example, in a hit and run case, small piece of paint from vehicle can always be used to determine the number and types of different cars that may have been involved. Next is eliminating a suspect. Physical evidence has exonerated many more suspect than it has convicted. A substantial part of the work in forensic analysis of physical evidences consists of making comparison between question and known samples depending upon the degree of individuality exhibited by the samples. Various conclusions can be drawn to associate people and the physical evidence in a particular case. As science and technology continue to advance, the capabilities and the importance of forensic science laboratories also continues to grow. At present in India, almost all states have their own such laboratories and some of them are strengthening others are in the process of establishment. The existing central forensic lab are vying to improve further. Now let us learn about the future of forensic science. The recent application of DNA technology in crime investigation has led not only to positive identification of innumerable criminals but has also led to overturns of a large number of parallel convictions and the release of hundreds of innocent people. Next is working in the field of forensic science. Working as a crime scene investigator can be extremely rewarding prospect as this avenue is still relatively new. The various career options offered in the field of forensic science places you on the edge of new technologies and research arena. Moreover, you will have a sound sleep knowing you are working to bring justice and help others. Summary. The roots of forensic science can be traced back to ancient Greek and Roman civilization, which brought 
advances in the field of various disciplines of science including the science associated with the criminal investigation the word forensics owes its origin to latin word forensics which means of or before the forum signifies belonging to the court forensic science draws upon the principles and methods of all the traditional sciences such as biology physics and chemistry locard proposed a notion that everything leaves a trace a principle that prevails in crime investigation even today in every forensic science investigation the main function is to provide a useful information to link the suspect and the victim with each other and thus with the scene of crime with the help of physical evidences 